Today's video is all about making a three-dimensional copy using scale factor to make your calculations. Right, how I, right now I have a uh, miniature box of Kellogg's Corn Pops and I'm going to make a three-dimensional copy of it using a scale factor of one-third. If you remember, copy on the top means that my copy is going to be smaller than the original. Okay, so step one, let's make a little sketch of the original so we can show all the dimensions and make some calculations for surface area and volume. Okay, remember it's not an art class, we don't have to make it too pretty. Corn pops. This particular box is 12 centimeters tall, 4 centimeters deep, and 7 centimeters wide. I rounded off to the nearest whole number to make the calculations a little bit easier, and also to apply the scale factor will be easier that way. First, let's do the volume. <clears throat> volume is just going to be equal to the three dimensions multiplied together. 12, 7, and 4, doesn't matter what order. Multiplication is commutative. This will be cubic centimeters. Since there are one, two, three dimensions, that means you're always going to use the little three for your units. Next, we'll do surface area. Um, I'm going to draw a net to show surface area this time. So you can see all the sub-problems. We have other methods that we've used in class, but I think this one is the most straightforward. Imagine if we cut the box with scissors and unfolded it. Then we would have our 4 would go here, would be the depth. The height would be 12 all the way across. We'd have a width of 7, which a congruent side around the back would also be 7. Here's a 4, here's a 4. So within each box here, within each rectangle of the net, we can do the uh, area. 12 times 7, 12 times 4, 12 times 7, 12 times 4. And the bases will both be 7 times 4. So we've got 84, 48, 84, 48, 28, 28. I'm going to circle those so I don't accidentally write something else down. And here we go. We've got two sides at 7 times 4 plus two sides at 12 times 7 plus two sides at 12 times 4. <clears throat> Let's simplify that one step at a time. 2 times 28 plus 2 times 84 plus 2 times 48 makes 56 plus 168 plus 96 and now we're finally down to our surface area is 320 centimeters squared the little two up here since we're dealing with area that's what the A stands for area is two-dimensional therefore the two always goes up there. So there we've got all the measurements of the original. Now it's time to get the measurements for the copy. Then we'll use those measurements to make a net and then finally the 3D model will happen. So I'm going to draw a line here. All of this stuff was for the original. Down here we're going to do all the work for the copy. Okay, so I'm going to slide it up here. I'll bring it back down in a minute. <clears throat> Just like up above, we're going to make a little sketch of the copy just to get the dimensions. Since my scale factor <clears throat> is one third, that means I'm going to take each of the dimensions 
and it's going to be one third of each dimension. So we have one third of seven, we have one third of four, and one third of twelve. Okay, that's just the same as going seven divided by three, four divided by three, and twelve divided by three. Okay, that's the easy one. We'll go four on that. One and a third and two and a third. Okay, so across the front will be our two and a third. The depth of this will be one and a third, and the height will be four. So now we have the new dimensions. Now once you have the new dimensions, you can make the net. Here's a net. I made it on yellow construction paper because I'm trying to make a pretty good copy of this box. Okay. So the net is going to show our new height. The new height is four. And then you can see visually, since we measured it out, you can see that this is going to be the 1.3 and the 2.3. Repeating, those are thirds. Okay. Those are all the dimensions. Net goes out of the way. Next. I want to do, I want to use the scale factor <clears throat> to find new volume, new surface area. We'll do that first because it's two dimensional, and volume. All right, surface area. We're going to take the scale factor squared and multiply it by the old surface area. Scale factor is one third squared. Old surface area is right here, 320. So we bring that down and use it. One third squared is one ninth, right? Because one times one is one. Three times three is nine. Times 320. New surface area is about 35 and a half square centimeters. There we go. Let's do the volume. We're going to take the uh, scale factor cubed because it's a 3D object. We're going to multiply it by the old volume, which if I look up here, 336 was the old volume. Okay. Scale factor cubed means one times one times one on top, three times three times three is 27 on the bottom. All of that is times the old volume. And that gives us 12.4 repeating cubic centimeters of volume for the new shape. All right, so before I reveal my fabulous copy, let's go through these steps again. We took the original box of corn pops, which is already kind of small, drew a picture, made the measurements, labeled the picture. I chose a scale factor of one third, which doesn't matter until we go to make the copy. So all this work up here is just taking the original, drawing a net, we found the volume by multiplying the three dimensions. We found the surface area by drawing a net and showing all the sub-problems, adding them all together. Then we went down to the bottom. This is where the scale factor comes into play. We made a new sketch. We multiplied each dimension by one-third. That's the scale factor to get new dimensions. Those are the dimensions are measurements. And that's the most important part of making the model, is getting the measurements accurate. Based on those measurements, I made a net, and I made sure to measure carefully all of those dimensions when I made the net. Then we just did some calculating, took the scale factor squared times the old volume to get the new 
sorry, surface area. We took the scale factor squared times the old surface area to get the new surface area. And then we took the old volume, the three-dimensional measurement, times the scale factor cubed, the little three accounting for three dimensions here, came up with 12.4, repeating, centimeters cubed. And finally, the big reveal, there's my model. <laughs> so here we go. There's the original. There's the copy. You can see even when I flip it on the side, my hand, I, I couldn't do all the nutrition information here, the ingredients. But you see that each dimension of this, there's the top. Each dimension is one third of the original, right? Meaning I could take one two, three of those each way. One, two, three that way. That's what scale factor means is every dimension is either reduced or enlarged by that scale factor. In this case, reduced. And I hope you had fun. I'm going to eat some sugar pops now. Corn pops. Don't worry, they have lots of sugar. Bye.